Today, we're going to be adding weapons to the Ultimate Fighter Jet. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need is some pylons. So what those are are hard points. So if we just grab some of these hard point connectors, we just attach these. And these are what the actual, like, you know, missiles attach to. And we're going to want this to be, like, actually inside the wing just to make sure it can actually clear the ground because the landing gear really isn't that high. So we have to find an area where there's three. And I think right there would work. So we're going to put one of these right here. Perfect. And now we need to put, I think we're going to do two more. So let's see. We can definitely do one, like, right next to all of this stuff right here. I don't even know what that is. I think it's, like, some logic stuff. It's a little bit XML. All right, so now we have another one. And then for the last one, I think we can do it right here in the center. Is this like our fuel tank? Hopefully it isn't, and it isn't. Actually, wait, I think it is. Okay, so we'll just put it one block forward, and that gets rid of that. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna put some more hard points. So now we have three things on each wing, which means six uh, different missiles or some type of thing that we can have. And maybe we should have like some type of bomb that we could drop. Um, I don't know where that would be. Oh, maybe back here. I don't know. We'll see. And the missile we're gonna be using is this NNTC Thunder four kilometer anti-ship missile. So so it's an anti-ship, but it can also be used for anti-ground. So how about we just put some of these? And I think we'll just have two of them. So we'll put them on like the outer wing right here. On the way outer side, I think we'll have like some type of anti-air. So we're going to just attach this. We just put it right there. And now we're going to be using this NNTC 40 kilometer radar missile, anti-air missile, I think this is. So we're going to go ahead and lower this and put it inside of our um, other pylon on the outer side here. So let's see if this will work. Hopefully this doesn't affect the uh, maneuverability of the plane because it probably will slightly, but hopefully not a lot. This is actually looking really awesome. Okay. Okay, so then what should this be? Oh, I don't even know. Maybe it could be like a bomb of some sort. I, guys, I really don't know what to put there. But um, while we're thinking of that, we should add an auto cannon. So we're going to go ahead up in here and search up auto cannon. And then we have a whole bunch of auto cannons we can use. So we have this one, which we're not going to use. Hold on. There's like an automatic one. This one right here. So this is like the one that uh, a 10 Warhogs use, which is a little bit powerful. And you know what? Just for testing purposes, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. And we're going to be adding the slightly large cannon here. OK, so it's going to be on both sides for um just, you know, stability. I don't think it can handle only on being on one side. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. Um, I don't know if this is going to be permanent because you're going to need, first of all, infinite ammo to even have this on because it's not going to be able to get its ammo from anywhere. So we're just going to go ahead and fix that. And then we're going to connect this to space. So trigger would be connected to, oh, I forgot it's on a different microcontroller. All right. So I just connected the microcontroller and had to do some like composite there. Now, if we go in here and click space, it should fire. Wait, it's not going to because we need um ammo, infinite ammo. And oh, okay. It definitely works. Okay. It's not stopping. Um, This is bad. You have a runaway gun okay get out of the vehicle you know what? we can just eject so we're just gonna get out of there and it did stop firing okay that's all that matters oh you want to know what i did i had it so if i was in the seat it would like actually activate the auto cannon and not the other one so there's a 32 one and then there's a 31 and i did not do the 31 so we're gonna go ahead and do 31 update it and now it shouldn't like randomly fire so we're just gonna go ahead and no clip in this thing and not glitch through the floor and now that we're in it we click space and it does fire and i can stop shooting okay that is pretty cool let's go ahead and take this off oh it's really leaning towards the back here it's really bad so we definitely are already running into some problems the missiles are actually dragging this thing's tail on the ground okay the missiles are too long oh that's so bad guys this is really interesting okay so we're trying to take off now and it's just because the wings and everything's like behind the landing gear okay it still flies like really good okay so that is a big thing here and then i can't launch the missiles yet because we don't have like the firing stuff for that that's gonna be a whole bunch of logic that we might have to do or actually i have a microcontroller for that but what we can do is strafe people so if we click space we can absolutely shred whoever's down there. That is pretty cool. Okay, so should we only have this on one side of the... I don't know. Maybe we could get rid of one of the auto cannons. And when I spawn the plane in, look what's happening. It's going to the back instantly, and it actually starts rotating to the left for some random reason. So what we're going to do just for now is get rid of these outer missiles that might be causing it. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of these. There's probably like some XML blocks somewhere. Yes, there are. All right, all right. Now if I spawn it in, hopefully it doesn't do that. And it doesn't, but it for some reason really leans to the left side. Oh, it's because of that auto cannon. Okay, so we need to counter the weight of that. And for that, I think we're going to actually have a bomb. So it's going to be a fairly large bomb and we want it to be like the exact same spot on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and put our hard point right here. Actually disregard that. We just cut straight into the fuel tank. Okay, we cannot be doing that. We're going to grab ourselves a hard point like I was saying, and it's going to be the square one. And then we have it on a different subgrid. So we're going to go ahead and lower it right here. And what kind of bomb should this be? Should it be like a small bomb or a large bomb? Okay, a large one might be an issue because it might hang uh, a little bit too low here. But we're going to go ahead and paste this in and then search up warhead actually um yeah warhead and then uh warhead body medium okay so this is a medium size one actually would that work Ooh, i think it would maybe okay we need to check how much it weighs so if we go on it it weighs 80 and then how much does this auto cannon weigh we got to figure this out this one weighs 400 okay so this is gonna like do nothing but it's gonna definitely help so maybe we could add like some weight blocks in the wing and i think that's what we're gonna have to do so we're just gonna fill this up with weight blocks hopefully this isn't like really destroying this um aircraft here if it does we'll you know we'll try to fix it but i don't know what i'm gonna be really able to do 
do. All right, so now we have a bomb basically hanging off the side. Let's see if it rotates anywhere. It's still going to that side. Okay, that's really an issue here. And what we're gonna try doing to fix this is get rid of these weight blocks right here. And okay, so can, no, we can't get rid of them there. We're gonna have to keep those weight blocks. And then on this side, we're gonna do a barrel. And these barrels actually weigh more than weight blocks. They weigh 40, so just 10 more uh, points. Oh yeah, and if you look at the center of mass, you can clearly see that it's like super, it gets changed immediately when we delete this. So this is definitely causing some issues. All right, so I know this looks super weird, but we have both of these um, weight things in the side of the wing right there. Okay, so it just looks like a little bit weird right now, but let's see if we spawn this in. It shouldn't go anywhere, but let's see. Okay, it's actually leaning to that side now. This is actually very concerning. All right, we have it spawned in, and now I think this is actually perfect, but why is it drifting like this? Guys, this game is very, like, interesting. I'm gonna say interesting to be nice here, but what is going on here? Like, why are these wheels drifting even though they're, like, completely out of standstill? Like, I don't know what's going on with this game's physics. Um, we have the weight should be pretty calibrated here if we go to the center of mass. Like, it's literally directly in the center if we look right here. It's in the center of this block, maybe leaning towards this side a little bit, so I don't know why it's not working. And then I have this fairly large microcontroller here that I made a decent amount of time ago. So, uh, how many hard points do we have? We only have one, two, three, okay? And we'll just keep five just in case we want to launch those ones, okay? So, if we go in the microcontroller here, you can obviously see that there's a lot more than five. And there we go. Now, it's down to how much we actually need of the microcontroller. We're going to put this on the different subgrid because it's definitely important. So, now, if we click number five, it should launch these missiles. So, if we go to number one missile right here, it should go left to right. So, we're going to go ahead and do launch. Oh, should we even connect these since we have nothing on them? Hey, you know what? I have a great idea. We're going to actually make those bombs also. So, we're going to put this here and then we're going to go ahead and search up, um, what is it called? Um, Warhead. Yes, it's Warhead. So if we search up Warhead, we have these small little bombs right here that aren't as big, thankfully. So we're going to go ahead and connect this and just paste this twice. So we'll have two of these. You know, because I just don't want to leave this pile on right here empty handed. So we're going to go ahead and connect this right here. And then same thing on this other side, all the way over here. Perfect. And we have to put this threshold um, above zero or else it'd explode the second we launched it. All right. And of course, we're going to make this more organized. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be in this video. I'll have to figure it out because I don't even know how to do that myself, but the number one missile launch or whatever the pylon launch will go to that one. Second one will go to the second one. And basically we just have to do this a couple more times here. So, all right, we have all five connected. So now if I click number five, wait, guys, we're having the issue again. Oh, is that really all from those little bombs? Hold on. The microcontroller still back here. You know, this could be it, even though it might not, it's definitely not, but it could be. Let's see if it does anything. Um, no. Oh, wait, that actually was the issue, I think. Okay. So if we even have like a leaf land on the back right here, I think this will pop a wheelie. Yep, the front's lifting up. Okay, so this is a very sensitive blend, guys. And it actually gets stuck like this. What if I go on the front here? Will it level out? Ooh, am I fat enough? No. Okay, so uh, let's go in here. Click number five. All right, so number five, it goes left to right. So it should drop that bomb right there. And then the next one is the missile, which didn't launch. Okay. Oh, it did launch. Okay, so it's on toggle. We need to fix that. So on this seat here, when I click number five, I don't want it to be on toggle. We switch it to push. Perfect. So now if I want, we could do um, bomb one, missile two, and then what's the next one? It's the big bomb right there. Uh, another missile and then the other bomb. And then, okay, that's all we have to do. Perfect. Oh, that's why we also uh, forgot to undelete that or delete that, not undelete that. And actually, I just looked in the landing gear and there's a little bit more room that we can add some more of these weight blocks at. And hopefully it's symmetrical. I think it is. So we're just going to put those there. Hopefully it kind of like counters the weight. And now it should stay on the front wheels. Okay, it does. Perfect. And now, even though if I teleport on the back, it shouldn't pop a wheelie. Okay, it really wants to, but it's not. And you know what? I think we're going to make an instrument panel to make this a little bit more organized on what uh you know missile or whatever we want to launch so the instrument panel would be right here so it'd be pretty convenient and we're gonna go ahead and start making it so if we go to our microcontroller right here we're gonna make some logic stuff and uh before we do that let's just kind of make this a little bit larger here and then that will be a composite uh output and then this will be a on and off um also output i think that's how it works actually no this would be a composite input so uh right here we'll just do missiles so we only have one type of missiles on board i don't know if we're gonna be having uh, anti-air missiles all right so as you can see i kind of laid them so missiles small bombs so we have two of the small bombs and then the big bombs and we're gonna put all these to output because it's outputting a signal to you know launch the bomb or whatever and i don't think we actually need the microcontroller to be this big so we're just gonna do it on a little four one right there so perfectly small all right so now we have to translate this into this okay so we're gonna go ahead and search up composite because that's what we need first and then we're just gonna find whichever one kind of matches and i think this will work all right so the first one will be uh straight to the missiles so missiles right there and then the next one will be straight to the small bomb but we can't forget to change this one right here to two and then same with the third one that's very important because if you forget to do that you're yeah it's not going to work at all so we're going to put this 
to three. Perfect. Done. Need an instrument panel, of course. So for that, we have ourselves a instrument panel, which we're going to put directly right here as stated earlier. And then we want these dials facing upright because that's the right direction. And then instead of them being dials, they're going to be, let's see, arrow buttons. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. So arrow buttons and then uh, mode, we're going to do push. Yep. So arrow buttons. All right. So now we have our missiles right here. We're going to do anti-ship missiles because that is what they are. So anti-ship missiles, 50 pound bombs, and then the 500 pound bomb, which is this big one right here. So since we have all of that done, we're going to go ahead and go to our composite menu here and the out signal will go straight to the microcontroller we just made. And then all of this stuff will go to some stuff. So the big bomb can just go directly to the, you know, big bomb right here. But all the other ones, there's two for them. So we can't really have it launched because it launched both of them at the same time. So how should we do this? All right. So what we're going to do is use a small little microcontroller twice. It's the one we had earlier to launch all of them. And I kind of customized it to make it smaller. So fire input for small bombs. So the first small bomb will be connected to where's the small bomb? Ooh, arm and then launch. Okay. So small bomb one right there. So since it goes left to right and then small bomb two is already connected to the one over there. Perfect. And then what is this next one? Okay. It's missiles. So this is when stuff gets interesting. So missiles will be connected to the uh, missiles one. All right. First missile will be uh, launched on the left side. So first missile launched right there. And then the second one, this looks so messy. I'm sorry. I just realized like how like unorganized or it's organized for me at least, but I just realized how confusing it may look. So launch goes to there. All right. I think we have it all connected. We're going to go ahead and spawn it in and test it out. So, oh, it's look at this drift guys. It's so bad. I don't know how to fix this. Okay. So now if we go in here, we have a whole bunch of stuff we can drop. So anti-ship missile one. And then if we click again to launch the other one, oh, this is working really good. And then we can go ahead and launch our 50 pound small bomb right there. And then the other one on the other side. And then the big boy bomb. Oh my gosh, this all works guys. And then if we click space, it should fire the cannon, which it does. So we have all of this stuff currently working. Why is it not firing anymore? Okay. It has just had a spool up there. So of course we have to test this out on one of my vehicles I made. So this is my Hummer right here. It's a little small thing. You know what? I don't even know if those missiles still work. They're probably pretty old. So we're going to go ahead and park this right here in the middle of the runway, go over here and take this thing off and drop some bombs, actually missiles. All right. So systems are on and you know what I forgot to do guys. I forgot to add a battery in the systems video, but you know, that's fine. We can just add it today. So we are currently taking off and I really hope these missiles hit it because if they don't, that will be an issue. But all right here, clear for takeoff and we are off in the air. Okay. First thing we're going to do is put our landing gear up. So gear lever is going up. Perfect. Okay. So as you can see, our gear um, goes through the entire thing. Kind of, it's like slightly glitched, but that's fine. All right. So let's go ahead and see how this will work. Okay. Yep. I definitely see how it affected the maneuverability. This thing's doing really weird stuff. So launch missiles button is right here. Anti-ship missile. Let's slow down. We're going way too fast for this. Okay. We're going to do a U-turn here, but you know, if the missiles miss, we always have our backup option on the left side of our wing here. So that is pretty good. Wait, we need a HUD. That is a good idea. So we could probably add a HUD for this somewhere. All right. We are coming in for a missile run. Let's get it all lined up here. So uh, anti-ship missile and it is going straight for it. And we got a direct hit. Oh, this actually works. That's amazing. Major W's in chat. Okay. So we have a working missile system on this thing, which is pretty cool. I definitely need to fix the maneuverability because this is like insane. This is me pulling up normally and it's like really leaning to a side of the plane. Oh, that's just such a great sign. Okay. And then we can launch another one, even though it's completely destroyed, like nowhere to be seen. So let's go ahead and launch the other one. Oh, I see why it was leaning because we had an uneven balance because of the missile launch. Oh, so you're definitely going to want to launch both of them at once if you're going to, but it's fine if you don't. So let's go ahead and drop some of our small bombs here. See how these work. So where are the small bombs at? So 50 pound bomb has just been dropped. Let's see how this does, or even if it explodes. I don't know if I even armed it. But let's see. Here we go. It's going to go a hit here in a second and it hit the ground and didn't explode. Okay. I don't know why that happened. All right. So let's go ahead and test this on our big bomb here. Oh, I forgot to arm them. Okay, guys, that's very important. How do I forget to arm a bomb? Okay. So let's bring this to the workbench here and I'm going to show you guys what I mean. All right. So there's like an arm setting right here. So arm, that's how you like actually explode it. And then arm will be connected to launch. So when it's launched, it will be armed only when it's launched. Um, sometimes it does explode randomly, but we don't talk about that. But one thing I need to do is make these like different somehow. So the um, big bomb right here could probably be a toggle button since there's only one of them. We're definitely going to do something like that. Uh, what we need to do now is go ahead and put our landing gear up. Wait, what's going on? Is that, wait, what is that? Is that our radio that's uh, still connected to this thing? Why is that still here? Okay, well, I don't know why the radio is still connected to the plane, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay, put our landing gear up. There we go. Landing gear is going up. And now we're going to test our super large bombs here. Oh, we're stalling. Yep, something's definitely wrong. All right, it's coming in for a bombing run. We're going to drop the small 50 pound bomb and we're going to drop both of them, I think. So let's see. Here we go. We're coming in for a bombing run. And three, two, one, drop both of the 50 pound bombs. And there they go. Okay, those are probably going to be pretty hard to actually coordinate down. But yep, they do 
explode. Awesome. So that is what a 50 pound bomb looks like. I don't even know if they're 50 pounds or 500 pounds, if I'm going to be honest, but let's see what the 500 pound looks like. All right, here we go. We are coming in for a bombing run. We're going to go ahead and drop the 500 pound right now. That's the big boy bomb right there. So that is a pretty big, large piece of payload there. And it didn't explode. Did I forget to arm that one? Oh my gosh, I think I did. All right, big bomb test number two. Big bomb. Here we go. It has been dropped. Let's see how big of an explosion this is. And there it is. Okay, so much larger than the 50 pound bombs. I can say that. I don't know if that's 500 pounds though. Maybe we'll lower it to 200 after that one. But um, yeah, so we have a whole bunch of stuff working on this thing. Let's go ahead and launch everything there. Pull up. Let's not crash. Where did the bombs go? Or the, um, yeah, the bombs. Where'd they go? I don't know. They might have exploded, guys. But that's probably going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell. And let me know in the comments what we should actually add to this thing next. Because I don't even know. Of course, we're going to add something. But thanks for watching and goodbye.